Select the gear that uses the least amount of chain. The fastest at the back, the slowest at the front. Open the brake. Rotate the handle on the quick release skewer through 180 degrees from the closed position to the open position. Stand behind the bike with your head on its center line. Grab the left side of the bike with your left hand. Place your right thumb on the end of the quick release nut on the right side. Use your right fingers to pull the derailleur body back towards you so it rotates out from under the wheel. Unhook the chain with your right hand to lift the bike with your left. Grabbing the cogs is no good as they spin on the bike freewheel without turning the central mechanism that is screwed onto the hub shell. You need a special key to fit into notches or splines on the bike freewheel to turn it. Remove the rear wheel from the bike to gain access to the bike freewheel. Take out the quick release skewer or remove the axle nut on the drive side. Slide the freewheel remover onto the axle and into the notches or splines on the bike freewheel. Replace the nut or the skewer to lock the key in place. Use a long adjustable spanner to turn the key anti-clockwise. Once the bike freewheel is moving, remove the skewer or nut to allow it to unscrew all the way. If you have a bench vise, you can clamp the key in it, drop the wheel gently onto the key, then turn the wheel to unscrew the bike freewheel. Take the wheel off the bike and remove the freewheel from the hub. Hold the cone on the left side still with the cone spanner and loosen the lock nut. Unscrew and take off the lock nut, washer and cone. Catch any balls if they fall out. Count them. Separate the axle from the freewheel hub shell and shake and catch any loose balls. Clean all the loose parts and the cups inside the freewheel hub. The freewheel hub may have removable push fit dust covers that will come out to make cleaning inside easier. Check the surfaces on the cones and inside the freewheel hub shell where the balls run for roughness or uneven wear. Worn cones can be replaced, but if a freewheel hub is worn, it may need to be scrapped. 
If you need to replace the cones, measure the position of the one still on the axle and make sure they go back in the same place so the axle is centered in the freewheel hub. The drive side may have more spaces between the lock nut and the cone. If you're replacing the cones, you may need different size spacers if the new cones are shorter or longer than the old ones. It may be easier to replace the whole axle if you can't find cones that match the thread on the old axle. Pack the races in the freewheel hub with new grease and press the same number of new balls of exactly the same size into the grease. Changing the balls prolongs the life of the other parts. If you're not sure how many balls came out or if you suspect the freewheel hub was packed with the wrong number of balls, fill a race with balls and then take one out. The balls need room to roll around. Check the lock nut and cone assembly on the right side of the axle are locked tight. They won't be accessible once the freewheel is back on. Feed the axle into the freewheel hub taking care not to disturb the balls. Assemble the other side and adjust the freewheel hub. Remount the freewheel and put the wheel back in the bike. The bike freewheel is likely to get wound on tight in use, so greasing the threads is essential to stop it getting locked too tight. Match the two threads carefully, as the threads on the hub shell are soft and easily damaged by the steel of the bike freewheel. Make sure it goes on straight. If you're not sure, use a key to unscrew the bike freewheel, then start again. Put the wheel back in the bike. Put the chain onto the fastest sprocket and watch the axle into the slots on each side where it fits. The weight of the bike will help you get the wheel in exactly the right place. With your head on the bike centre line, check the wheel is centred in the frame. Rotate the handle through 180 degrees from the open position to the closed position. Close the brakes and check they're working well. Lift the rear wheel off the ground and kick the pedals to start it turning. The rear wheel should spin while the cranks stop turning. If the rear wheel pushes the cranks around, there may be a problem with the bike freewheel. The bike freewheel should make a regular metallic clicking sound when the wheel runs and the pedals are still. Changes in the sound of a bike freewheel may be a sign that it's wearing out.